So is there a perfect recipe for lamb loin chops on a pellet smoker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah hers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could stop by. And we're gonna be doing some lamb chops, some lamb loin chops, not any lamb chops. They're from Australia. And guys, if you're gonna buy some <laughs> lamb, go to the Australian products because it's pretty much, uh, and New Zealand, it's gonna be uh, grass fed, better quality stuff down there. Now, it's gamier uh, flavor. Um, that gaminess kind of comes from the fat that develops, which is a good fat, guys, especially if it's grass-fed. Now, American lamb is bred differently, and the fat is not going to have that gamey taste as much as Australian and New Zealand lamb. So if you don't like that uh, lamminess, that gaminess, uh, Lammy lamb. you know, and you're just going to do some salt and pepper, yeah, get some product of USA stuff, but that's going to be grain-fed, who knows what else, you know. Um, we prefer grass-fed. Uh, it's better quality, we think. And plus, Sassy's marinade is going to take down that gaminess just a notch. And oh, yeah. So so how did you uh, prepare your marinade, babe? This is the marinade. And how long do you let it marinate? Oh, it could be anywhere from... It doesn't need that, to marinate that long because this meat, is, this uh, these lamb loin chops are pretty tender mm -hmm. on their own. So maybe an hour or two in, yeah, my, in my thing here. Um, and you could go so, longer if you want, right? You know? Sure. You could go a few days. I mean, say if you were making lamb shishlik. Mm, that's good lamb shishlik? Shishlik. It's called shishlik. Never heard of it. It's a Russian thing. Oh. Anyway, it's really, really good. My mother used to well, it. We got some vodka over here for... But babe, what are the uh, liner notes here of your marinade? Um, you can put as many or as little um, lemon juice, the juice of a lemon as you want. I use seven. Um, small lemons and fresh garlic, lots of it, like two heaping tablespoons, um, fresh chopped parsley, fresh chopped mint, uh, red pepper flakes, and um, avocado oil, and some paprika. Just mix all that together and pour it over my lamb and put it in the fridge. So guys, just to test this theory that this is probably going to be the best recipe that we've done for a pellet grill for lamb loin chops, uh, we're going to be using the Z-Grill 700 series, which has a, been a fantastic smoker for us since we've had it. This probably is about the seventh cook that we've done something on that. Uh, and I think it cooks great. Cooks evenly, cooks great. It's really good. Uh, now, a little bit about Z-Grills, guys. They make a wide range of different pellet smokers and different budgets, and it's all good quality stuff. We happen to have the stainless steel version and uh, the Backyard Warrior, guys, and it's fantastic. We're going to be going for... A high temperature settings. It is a Wi-Fi enabled uh, smoker so you can go in your living room and monitor that temperature. You can even shut it off via the Wi-Fi once you've determined that your meat's got that target temperature uh, internally. So without further ado I'm gonna get the Z-Grills ready to go. Get busy, baby. Didn't take long. Hope you could see that. It's uh, 504, almost 550 degrees. Uh, that's gonna get us that char that we're looking for. Uh, we're going to shoot for about 135 degrees and I'm going to have to be checking them often because they're individual chops. So uh, let's, uh, okay, let's get started. So as you can see here, I got this little grate here because these pops are so small. You know, I don't want to put them on these uh, larger grates, you know, just in case something kind of falls in there. So. There we go. It's going, to, it's going to make it a lot easier to pull these off. All right, guys. We've only been in to this cook about 10, 15 minutes max. There's plenty of smoke here. Now, I use the feed feature on the Z-Grills. That while you're holding that button depressed, it's going to rotate the auger and give you a continuous feed of extra pellets. Again, as long as you hold that feed button down. And I did that for a little bit. This thing, when it gets ramped up to that high setting, which is at 500 degrees, which is considered high, it will go above that to about 500 degrees, uh, plus 50, about 550 in my experience. Okay, look at that. Nice. Right, guys they're already done I'm seeing 140 in a lot of these so guys I'm gonna shut this down bring them in uh, 
you know, that was about 20 minute max, guys. And that's fast. As you can see, they came out fantastic, guys. Only took about 20 minutes on that Z Grills 700 series Backyard Warrior stainless steel. 500 degrees plus, we used Z Grills cherry wood pellets. And as you can see, they came out fantastic. Sassy's marinade was the bomb. So delicious. Didn't have that gamey taste at all, but you can still tell that it was lamb. These make great hors d'oeuvres for unexpected guests, friends and family that come over and you want to cook up some really good barbecue. Guys, so simple to make. You can even put the marinade aside in a jar. It'll keep for a few days, no problem at all. And when the time arises, just slather them up, marinate for a couple hours and throw it on that smoker. But you can also put them on a Weber grill, in the oven, wherever guys, even on the stove top on some cast iron, doesn't matter. They're gonna come out great. So speaking of lamb, if you'd like to see some more of our recipes on lamb, I'll leave a video right here. Go check it out. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next cook.